Hello, everyone. So I have the pleasure to be here with founder of SBG International, Matt Thornton, and brother of Matt Thornton, who's a coach in SBG. So today we're going to do, we're going to look at the mount, and I will try to maintain my mount on top of Zach. Good luck. I will suck very bad at that, with, although I'll try very hard. <laughs> and then uh, Coach Matt will look at my mistakes and will give me some advice, and we'll see how much my game changes because of that. You bet. Okay, so you got somebody who's about 280, <laughs> and how, how much do you weigh, Rokas? I think it's uh, 180 based on 180. the American. So let's just say he has almost 100 pounds on you for sure. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm going to ask Zach to respond in the beginning, not with uh, technical jujitsu, but more just like what a big guy would do if you're sitting on him, and it's a fight. And we'll see how you do. Great. Okay, so go ahead and lay down, Zach. You get mount off a takedown somehow. And I'm gonna have Zach respond the way a big, aggressive, angry person would respond if you're sitting on him that you know maybe is not uh, technically trained. And I just want you to try and stay on top, okay? okay. Go ahead. And for here, Zach, I want you to focus on pushing uh, on his body and rib cage and trying to knock him off you. Ready, go. Okay, try again, give you a couple shots at it. You ready? Yep. Good, and one more time. Try and stay on top, Rokas. Good, okay, so let's fix that. And so now you should be able to stay on top pretty well with somebody who's just trying to throw you off and roll you. So we'll do one more round. We'll put it all together. I'll let him use any of those movements he can to try and throw you off and roll you. And we'll actually see if we can do about a minute, two minutes. Okay, you ready? Yeah. I'm just gonna give Zach, his instructions are to use big guy moves and roll you. He, he, his only way to not get out, in other words, he's not doing the elbow knee escape. Mm -hmm. He can roll you or push you off. Yeah. Okay, ready? Yeah. Stay relaxed. Mm -hmm. Go. Go back to prayer feet, try not to grapevine. Mm -hmm. Good. Good time. So he got one, yeah. but you stayed on there for quite a bit. And you can go back and compare that to the footage when we started. Oh, and yeah. both, <laughs> both are real. Right. So massive improvement, right? Mm -hmm. Some total of about five minutes of training. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you just add it up and put in the time and do the rounds and you can see where you can go. Well, yeah, that's, uh, that's very impressive. Let's see, I mean, it's, uh, what was interesting for me to observe is when I just started getting into functional martial arts, having done so much of Aikido, being good there, I felt like I'm broken, I and mean, like whatever I trained, I was like, oh, probably something is wrong with me. I'll never learn it. But I think that was due to partly bad coaching and that I experienced in the past. And it's so interesting because I did try to keep my mouth here, like really. And as soon as I got thrown off 10 times in 10 seconds, I thought, okay, that tells something about me. <laughs> it's like that means I'm, I'm just bad. I'm just not good. But it's just amazing to see how much changes when the right training and the right knowledge is at it. It's like really impressive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One of the major fallacies about martial arts that drives me crazy, and I used to hear it all the time in the Jeet Kune Do community, and it was a rationalization for bad coaching and bullshit martial arts, was some people are fighters and some people aren't fighters. <laughs> I used to hear that all the time from the top coaches. I mean, the, the top of that culture. And that was a common theme, and, and, and that's what they would use to rationalize the fact that most people couldn't do the, the stuff they were teaching. That is a 100% bullshit. And anybody that comes into our gym that has normative skills, you know, they can walk, 
they would be capable of swimming or playing basketball. Anybody that has the, that level of attributes, just normal human being, can learn how to fight well with proper coaching and, um, and the right environment. So it's not you. And when you're training anything for real, it's not going to be pretty and perfect every time. Uh, and you can think about any sport, right? Anything that you do in life. It doesn't look like fantasy-based martial arts look when, when they do them because that's not what a fight looks like. And the thing about jujitsu works so well that to defend against it realistically, once the person has a fairly decent level of skill, Zach's a purple belt. So at the level that he's playing the game right now, you pretty much have to have uh, also some jujitsu or MMA or wrestling. And absent that, it's, it's very easy for somebody with, with five or six years of, of Brazilian jiu-jitsu to stay on top or escape or defend themselves. It's so functional. And that's why in a very short period of time, it, it really becomes people's um, mindset and uh, everything changes and it becomes jiu-jitsu versus jiu-jitsu. So he's thinking about his performance against other people that are purple and brown and black belts, not against what it would be like to sit on some guy his size who's a white belt. <laughs> Because honestly, at a certain point, it becomes too easy. But it's not that way because he's practiced a form over and over again, or he's been given some secret kata. It's that way because he spent years doing what you just did and failing over and over and over again and getting smashed in class and thinking, man, I must suck and this and that. No, you're a white belt and they're a blue belt or a purple belt, which in jujitsu means years. This person's been training two or three years and in jujitsu, two or three years makes a huge difference especially when you're beginning. Right? That's two or three years of mat time that you don't have. So, no, it's not you. You just, just <laughs> gotta get the right coach. Good to hear, good to yeah. experience. <laughs>